What's going on, everybody? It's Midwest Reefer, and I'm back with a brand new video. Thanks for tuning in. So what's up, guys? It's been a long time since I put out a video, and that's mainly because I haven't really done anything too new. And, you know, my channel isn't necessarily an entertainment channel, you know. Um, it was more of a follow me while I do this journey, something I haven't done channel. I'll tell you what's good. I'll tell you what's bad. I'll tell you what's worth the money. And hopefully you can avoid making a little less mistakes than I did starting out reefing. That's what my channel does. So with that being said, there's not going to be something new that I do with my tank every week. And to put a video out just to put a video out, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me personally. You know, I have a lot of other things that I do. I race RC cars and planes. I play a lot of instruments. Of course, I love gaming. Who doesn't like gaming? I like building custom rigs like my water-cooled PS4. That can be for another video. And, uh, you know, I, I train dogs, too. So it's like reefing is just one aspect of my life. You know, I have ADHD, so I constantly am, in, am doing a lot of different things. And reefing is just one of the things that I gravitated to and wanted to be successful at. And I've done that. So I've slowed up on the videos, but I'll do request videos. And as a lot of you guys know, I still do comment on my Instagram and I still comment on YouTube. You guys subscribe to me every day. I've hit 600 subscribers, which means giveaway time. That's right. If you guys watched a few of my videos um, earlier, I talked about doing a giveaway. I'm not going to talk that much details now because that defeats the purpose of doing the giveaway video. Um, the media basket broke. Long story short, the media basket broke. So... Um, I was going to give that away at 600 subscribers, but since it's broke, I'm going to go straight to the current Orbit Marine Light that I was going to give away at 800 subscribers. The only thing is, I don't know how to give it away. You know, I've never done a giveaway. I'm not a big YouTuber, and it's coming out of my own pocket to ship it. So, what do you guys think? You know, if you have an idea, maybe I should do some trivia where you guys have to try to remember something I said from an old video, or maybe I should, I should just do a random generator. I don't know. But I will be giving that light away because I promised you guys I would. So thanks for 600 plus subscribers. I'm so grateful, especially from a bum like myself that isn't putting out content every week. I really appreciate you guys gravita uh, gravitating towards my videos. Um, I was just going to talk briefly about the tank and kind of give you an update since I've had the tank for some months now. And I can better convey this new stuff that I bought, as you guys know, I changed the whole setup differently from the Fluval and only kept a few key, uh, key things. So I'm going to talk about the tank in a whole and then those key things that I kept. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, so the tank itself, beautiful. Uh, I mentioned in one of my other videos that I picked it up on Cyber Monday for like 80 bucks. And at full price, I think the tank's only 100 bucks. It's worth it. The stand, I don't know. The stand's 250 I don't expect everybody to go buy that. But for 100 bucks or 80 bucks, I mean, the glass is nice and thick. The silicone edges are perfect. I mean, dimensions are perfect for a nice little living room or bedroom tank. Um, and the accessories are nice, too. Like, they have their own, uh, Nuvo has their own media basket. It's called the Custom Caddy, and it's just as good as the intake. But this one's 30 bucks. The intake start at 60 and go up. Um, they're nice, but they're not worth 60 bucks. And that's the hardest thing about getting into a hobby is the price. Not just this hobby, but any hobby. So, um, you big name, uh... Uh, fish companies out there, chill out, man. Make it a little bit more accessible. I mean, you guys got a machine. You hit print. Give, do some more giveaways. Get involved with the smaller YouTubers. I don't know if you want your product to sell. You know what I'm saying? Like, it looks good, but it all works the same. So, chill out on that price. <laughs> now, with that being said, you guys know I don't care about expense. I just care about the end product and how it looks. Now, with that being said, this Kessel A80 like looks beautiful, but I don't think it's worth 130 bucks. The cheap Chinese $60 LED light I had on the Pico tank, if you guys go watch my Pico series, was just as good, if not better, with way more control and same stylistic look. It still had that fancy, artsy look to it. Um, this light is very basic, and for how it comes out of the box, it's not worth 130 bucks. Now, it does put out great light. I actually have this thing. If I turn this down anymore, it will literally turn off. Watch. I'm barely moving it, boom, turned off. So the light definitely puts out a lot of power. And I have it, you know, 
it's not as blue as it looks on camera, but I do have it more blue. And with this tank size, it seems like the corals like like that best. Um, so the light is good. It's not great for the money. Um, the custom caddy is good. Um, the tank overall is a beautiful tank. It's an amazing tank actually for the money. And I really dig it. Um, I did go ahead and get rid of the spin stream. Um, t uh, you know, the, the return pump nozzle that spins around. Uh, my corals didn't seem to like that that much, but this is a small tank and maybe I just needed to give it a little bit more time. I don't know. So I just went with the stock uh, return nozzle that came on it and then my Hydor pump in the corner. This Hydor Pico pump, I think it's like 180 gallons. This is like this, it might be even less than that. It might be only 90 gallons, but it's the only pump that looks good in here. The other ones are just way too darn big and it just takes away from the tank. So I went with this guy here um, that I had on the Pico tank. Um, everything is organized as usual. You know, I have my Aquascape scraper for the algae and stuff in the corners in the bottom of the tank. I have my Nano Flipper uh, magnet. Got a two little fishies magnet over here. And we got the thermometer over there. Um, now, as far as the things that I... Everything's new on this tank as far as the coral and the setup itself. But there's a few key components that I, I will always use on any of my tanks. One of them is going to be an auto top off. I have the micro um, auto aqua top off and it's pretty straightforward. You just have a sensor right back here in the tank where my thumb is. There's actually a blue light, but you can't see it because everything else is blue. And when the water drops below that sensor, it kicks the pump on where I keep my RO water and boom, my salinity is back in check. Of course, I do check it periodically with my refractometer too, just to make sure. And it's always pretty good. Um, another thing that I always keep on my tanks, other than auto top off, a lot of people bypass is a battery backup. Especially if you live in the Midwest area like me, where you get all different types of weather. Um, it's good to have a battery backup, especially if you have expensive fish or coral. Uh, essentially, um, I have just my pump, uh, my, my high door pump and my heater hooked up to it. And the reason why is because those are the two most important things in the tank. Uh, the, the fish will be all right without light. The fish and coral will be all right without light for a few hours or a day. Um, they'll be all right without filtration for, you know, a day or a few hours. Um, but they need oxygen in the water. So that's why I keep the pump agitating the water. And of course the temperature does need to stay pretty close to the temp that they need. So those are the things that I have set up on my battery backup. So, you know, and then, and then the third thing that I keep on all my tanks is a timer. If the light itself doesn't have a timer built into it, um, then I just get one of the simple plug in the wall time timers, set it for, you know, the hours that I want and you're done. Um, I don't do a ramp up time or a ramp down time like I did on the Fluval anymore. And I cut back how long the tank used to come on at like eight in the morning. And it would do like a little sunrise and then it would be on all day. And then it ramped down at like nine o'clock at night. It was nuts. Um, but I had a lot more algae. This tank doesn't turn on until noon. The reason why is because I have a little natural light that sneaks through my, my deck. And um, I'm not home. I leave work in the morning. So who's looking at the tank? So the, the tank lights don't come on until noon now. And then they turn off about eight o'clock, nine o'clock. So I definitely shorten, shorten the time and try to keep the lights on when I'm actually home to enjoy it. And when I'm not, you know, have them off. So I didn't want to keep this video too long, but I just want to let you guys know what's up. You know, the tank is empty right now. Um, and I'll talk about that in a later video, but I did buy some new fish that are on hold at my fish store and I will be picking them up today. So I'll make another quick video for that. Thanks so much, guys, for watching, for the subscribes, um, for the comments and the love. Like I said, I will be doing a giveaway video soon, um, so stay tuned for that. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.